Never Stop Learning, week 186. We're gonna take a quick look at the Rotate View tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. All right, so I got a couple images open and that's gonna help me play around with this tool. In order to find it, you wanna come over here to the Tools panel. And right here where we have the Hand tool, just click and hold, you're gonna find the Rotate tool at the bottom of the stack. You could also hit the R key and that'll activate the tool for you. All right, cool, so the way it works is all you do is click and drag and that's gonna rotate the view of this image for you. So when I release, you see now I have this cricket here. Now, it's just rotating the view we have currently on this image. So if I were to print this out, it would still print out upright. This is just a view so we could work with it a little bit more easily. All right, so again, I just have to click and drag. And you see I got this little compass right here with the red section on it. Now that red triangle is pretty much pointing at the top of the image. So that's gonna help me know exactly where I'm at when I'm working with this. Now I'm freely rotating this guy right now, but if I introduce the shift key, you see it's gonna start snapping into these little 15 degree increments right here. All right, so if you need to snap it into a specific position, that's gonna help you out, or just do it and you could uh, zoom around freely like this. All right, I'm gonna release this, and now I'm gonna hit the escape key, and that's gonna reset the view for me. If you take a look over here at the top, because we have this tool activated, we have some other options going along here. Over here it says rotation angle. Currently it's set to zero degrees, but if we enter in a new value, you see it's gonna be updating our view right over here in our, in our document. All right, so I'm gonna spin it back around this way just to make a couple changes. All right, to the right of that, we have this little dial. You can click and drag and spin it around wherever you need it, or you could actually just click wherever you want it to rotate to. To the right of that, we have this reset view button, and that does the same thing uh, that it would do as if you hit the escape key on your keyboard. So I'm gonna click on that, and that resets it to zero degrees. Just to the right of that, we have this button here. Now, this is gonna rotate all open document windows when using the rotate view tool. So let's see that in action. I'm gonna click on that to activate it. Over here in the window menu, I wanna choose arrange. I'm gonna switch it over to three up stacked. All right, now this way I could see these three different images that I have up. And now when I come over here and I spin this cathedral around, I'm gonna go ahead and release. Now you see that the other images updated along with it. So again, if I spin it back around this way, more towards the 11 o'clock, you see everybody else updates along with that. To reset the view for all of them, click on this big reset view button and everybody resets along with it. They all did that because we have this one pressed down. So when I press it again, now we're just dealing with a single image at a time. Right, I'm gonna come back over here to the window menu, choose a range, and the option I want is consolidate all to tabs. That's gonna bring it back to a single document for me. All right, so now that you know how to use the tool, let's see the best way to use it in your workflow. All right, currently I'm working with the mouse, uh, so you can get some better selections using the Wacom tablets and stuff like that, but I'm gonna get started with the mouse first. All right, uh, I wanna make a selection right here along this arch, so let me hit the M key to activate my uh, marquee tool. I'm gonna click and drag, start a selection right here in the middle, and now I'd like to go along the top portion right here, so let me zoom in a little bit. And now I'm gonna use the L key to bring up the lasso tool. And over here on the top, now we have some new options because we're using the lasso tool. I wanna make sure that I'm gonna be adding to my selection, so I'm gonna click on this guy right here. And now I'm gonna come along here and just click and drag down in this direction. All right, I swing around this way and release. Now I could always make some edits to this, so let me zoom in a little bit more right in here. I'll click and drag. There you go, so now we've added that portion to the selection. I'm gonna zoom back out. And now I wanna bring up the Rotate View tool. A quick way to do that is just hit the R key, but actually hold it down. Don't release, you could click and drag. Now the best thing about working this way is that once you release, you're gonna go right back to the tool that you previously had activated. All right, so now I can just continue adding to the selection. I'm gonna come along here. All right, along the top. There we go. Now if I wanna reset the view, if I take a look over here at the top, I don't have access to that reset view button. So I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard and that's gonna fix things up for me. I could always come back in here, start making some changes. Option, click and drag. It's gonna start removing some of that selection for me and I can just keep working with it that way. I'll come along here to the top, just to add this part and then I'll zoom back out. 
All right, cool. So now that I have my selection set up that way, I want to show you how I could do that using a Wacom tablet. So I'm going to hit Command D to deselect that. And the Wacom tablet that I'm using is an Intuos Pro, size medium, along with the art pen. All right, so I'm going to hit the M key again to bring up my marquee tool. I'm going to click and drag right along here. Bring this guy up to the top and release. All right. Now I'm going to hit the L key to bring up the lasso tool. And I need to come along right in here. Zoom in a little bit. Reposition. And go ahead and start drawing out my selection. All right. So I'm going to draw it nice and neat right along here and release. All right. Now I'd like to rotate my view right here. So when I'm working with this tablet, the cool thing about the Intuo series is they have a touch ring right here. And that's going to allow me some, uh, some, some new options. When I click on the button in the center, you see we have auto scroll, cycle layers, brush size, and the one I'm going to work with is rotate. So now when I spin my finger along this wheel, you see it's going to rotate the image for me automatically and allow me to come right back to that tool that I was already using. So I'll come along here, add to my selection, and release. So if I need to spin this around, I could just use my finger on the ring. There we go. And then when I need to reset this, I'm just going to hit Escape. Command-0 to zoom all the way out. And there you have it, folks. That's the Rotate View Tool in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.